Hey, what's happening? It's Nick with Lone Star Boot Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at the large canvas duffel bag from Tacobas, as well as a less expensive option from Amazon. So I've been interested in these duffel bags from Tacobas for quite a while. Occasionally I like to take little weekend trips, and I'm always looking for a nice sized duffel bag to just throw some clothes in and take off. And these ones from Tacoba just look like really good quality. They're really cool looking and they look like a good size for a weekend trip. Now I went clicking around on YouTube and there's hardly any reviews for any of these bags out there. So I thought this would be a good time, especially with the holiday season coming up, to go ahead and purchase one and do a review for you guys. Now I also went clicking around on Amazon. I found one that looks pretty similar in the pictures and it's only $35. So I want to do a comparison between the two and just see how the cheaper one stacks up against the Tacovas. So with all that out of the way, what do you say we take a look at them? So when you open up the box, they give you a standard Tacovas koozie, which is always cool. I like these little things. You get a similar one in some other brands, but I like getting them no matter what I'm buying. Okay, so when I pull the Tacovas out of the box, it you can already tell this is good quality. This canvas is super thick and durable but it's not real stiff which is good so it looks like that it's got nice pockets on the outside here there's one on the other side as well this is pretty big um, it's not zippered though so you don't want to put anything in here you'd really be worried about getting lost you might stick a boarding pass or something in there the hardware on it is very nice it's like a brushed brass color and i really like the strap that it has these kind of hooks on it if you can see that it's like a carabiner where you just push on it it's not the kind that has a trigger on the back and i really like that it's much easier and the zipper is very sturdy and pretty smooth but it is a really nice heavy duty zipper I apologize, it's kind of hard to zip it with this thing folded up, but that's just the way it comes out of the box. So on the inside here, it's got a pocket right here that you can see. And then on the outside of that, there's a zippered pocket right here. There's no divider on either one. It's just two, you know, fairly good sized pockets. There is no lining and there's nothing on the other side right there. So the handles are really nice round leather and it feels like a really nice smooth leather. It's real soft, but whatever's on the inside of this is sturdy. So they're not super flimsy. They just feel really nice. Now the zipper has leather pull tabs on it, which I'm kind of on the fence about. I feel like over time the leather could fail, but I don't know, it's really thick, nice piece of leather. And if that ever did happen, I'm sure a cobbler could probably put another one on there for you. The shoulder strap is thick canvas and it's got um, an adjustable buckle here so you can make it shorter or longer. And then the shoulder pad here is nice because it doesn't slide around. Once you set it where it is, it's not really gonna go anywhere. And it's leather as well. Um, it's canvas on the back. I kind of wish that was leather too, but it might be better for it not sliding off your shoulder. And it's got a little bit of padding, not very much really at all, but it is, you can, you can press your finger into it. So it does have a little bit. So overall, I'm pleased with this bag. It comes in at $245, so that's quite a bit to pay for a duffel bag, but the quality of it to me, kind of lives up to the price. So I'm really glad that it didn't come and it's not real thin materials and fake leather and all that kind of stuff, which I wasn't expecting it to given that it's a Tacovas, but I just want to pass that along to you. So I'm pretty impressed with this bag. What do you say we take a look at the Amazon one and see how it compares? Now the one from Amazon just comes in this zippered baggie, which is fine given the price. I only paid $35 for this. So it's coming in at over $200 less than the Tacovas. Here's the brand name here. I'm not real sure how to say that. Soayon. And here's their motto right there if you want to read it. And then on the back side, it's just got a warning label. And then right here, it says made in China. 
I didn't see anywhere on the Tacovas one where it said it was made. I'm guessing Mexico because that's where their boots are made. But I'm going to look into that and see if I can find out. And if I do, I'll put that down in the description for you. So here's the Amazon one. And I want to go ahead and let you know that these two bags are very similar in size. The Tacovas one is listed as a half inch to an inch bigger all the way around. But, you know, it's still pretty similar. I will say this canvas is really thick and durable feeling as well. Um, it's not quite as soft as the Tacovas one, but I think it's still a good quality canvas. This one has got like a nylon lining and it's not real thick or durable feeling. So I don't know how long that would hold up. Um, that's one thing that gives me pause. It does have some pockets here. It's got a zippered pocket right here. And then this, you know, acts as a pocket as well. And then there's another zippered pocket up against the side. And then on the other side, you've got these small pockets to put, I don't know, your cell phone, some pens, business cards, things like that. So the straps are different than the Tacovas. They're flat and they're canvas on the underside and then they're leather on the top. It does have this little snap closure so that if you're in the airport or something, you can snap it together and it's easier to pick it up like this. This one does come with these little D-rings on the handles here, which is kind of cool because you could take a carabiner or something and clip something on that and there's some on the other side as well. This one doesn't have any pockets on the outside, but what it does have is this leather strap right here. And what this is for is if you have one of those rolling suitcases with the handle that extends, you can slide this over the handle and it'll sit on top of the suitcase and then you can just roll it around as one unit. So I like that feature. I think if you're in an airport or something, that's really nice to have. There are pockets on the end and they have this snap closure here. It's not a zipper, you know, but the snap closure is better than nothing. And there's one on this side as well. So if we get into the zipper on top, it's a nice zipper as well. It's actually smoother than the Tacovas one. I don't think it's quite as beefy as the one on the Tacovas, but it's not a cheap zipper by any means. It's good quality and feels pretty sturdy. It does have leather pull tab on it as well. That doesn't seem quite as nice as the one on the Tacovas, but I think it serves its purpose. And again, if that ever wore out, you could probably get a replacement put on there. Okay, now this strap has what I was talking about earlier. It's got the clasp with the trigger on it, which I don't like as much as the ones that are on the Tacovas but they do feel really sturdy and good quality. It's the same kind of thick woven cotton for the strap here, and it's got the same buckle on it to adjust it. Now the shoulder pad on this one is different, and I like the two for different reasons. This one's a nice leather on top. It's also the canvas on the bottom. It has a lot more padding in it, and it's wider. So I like that about this one. Now, what I don't like as much as the Tacovas is this one slides around a whole lot more. When you're carrying it on your shoulder, if it slides and the bag tends to tilt forward or backward. All right, so final thoughts. I like both these bags, guys. I really like the Tacovas one. It's a little more heavy duty. It's got the name brand on it that you can trust. You know Tacovas stuff is quality. It's got a few nicer touches on it. It's got, you know, more leather here and there. The handles are all leather as opposed to canvas and leather. Now this does come in at a lot higher price tag. It's $245. So that's something you have to weigh. Is the quality and the name worth the price? You know, that's up to the individual. I'm not here to say whether something's overpriced or not. I think it's a very good bag and I think the quality matches the price it comes in at. Now with the one from Amazon, I don't like it quite as much quality wise. The handles, you know, are kind of the sewn leather and canvas. However, the zipper's a little smoother. The shoulder pads got more padding in it. You know, there's some pros and cons to both. The biggest pro on the Amazon one is it's only $35. However, it's got the nylon lining on the inside, which probably will start tearing over time. The zipper, while smoother, is not quite as beefy. Just all of the leather feels a little 
lower quality than the one on the Tacovas. However, the canvas is really tough and thick. It's just not quite as soft as the Tacovas. The Tacovas one will probably be a lifetime bag. This one probably not so much. But I really do like both of these bags, and I think in the two different price ranges, you're getting a good deal. So they both get the Lone Star stamp of approval. So anyways, guys, I'm going to leave links for both of these down in the description in case you're interested. The one from Amazon will be an affiliate link, so I get a tiny percentage of that sale. Not enough to even worry about, probably, but I want to go ahead and disclose that. If you have either one of these bags, leave me a comment down below and let me know what your experience has been. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to everybody who's watching. Please check out my Patreon link down below. And that's all I got for today, so I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.